My name is Brock Page, and in addition to single-handedly paying for the college tuition of my bookie's middle child recently, my girlfriend went on vacation with her ex last week, who it turns out was never really her ex to begin with. You win some, you lose some. Hope you enjoyed the cruise last week, fucker. We got back on track last night with a 2 and one record on our baseball picks, keeping my win percentage at about 600. Let's look for a clean sweep tonight as I just throw a few more darts in my underwear with some severely misguided sports picks. My two-bedroom apartment. First game I have for you, it is going to be New York Yankees laying $1.35 at the Chicago White Sox with a total at 10.5. Currently, Chicago's getting 1.5 on the run line, and at the moment, 61% of the money is on the Yankees to get the job done. Tonight's probable is Louis Sessa for the Yanks, Jimmy Shields for the Sox. And speaking of Chicago, they've struggled as of late, dropping three of their last four. They're also just two and four in their six head-to-head -head matchups with the Yanks. But if you think the Sox are a bust in this one, keep in mind that they are playing 500 ball as the official home underdog. They're also facing a Yankees team who's winning just 40% as the official road favorite. Speaking of the Bombers, they're also finding themselves 0-2 in games where Louis Sessa makes the start. They're also winning just 46% of their games on the road. On a lighter note, however, New York's 2-1 versus the White Sox in this very series. And they're also 29-24 in the third game without a day off. With all this in mind, the case for both sides can indeed be made. But before I select a winner, let's go ahead and break down the total real quick. Out of this series, three games thus far, they're 2-1 and one for the Overs going into tonight's matchup. With that in mind, however, the White Sox are just 1-2 and two for the Overs in their previous three before last night's action. You could probably go either way when it comes to the total as well. But as for now, the time for talk is over. It's time for me to throw my first dart in my underwear with some severely misguided baseball picks in my two-bedroom apartment. All right, guys, so when it comes to selecting a winner in this one, I hate taking the Yanks on the road. That said, they're facing a White Sox team who's won just 9 of 24 games versus teams over 500. they They're also winning just 40% of their games when James Shields makes the start. It's for these very reasons that I think the New York Yankees win this one outright on the road for some money line cash. And when it comes to the total, the case can be made for either side. That said, Shields comes in with an ERA of 426, while Sess is coming in at a rotund 657. Both teams' games are also collectively averaging 11 total combined runs in their previous four games combined. It's for these very reasons that I think this one gets over the 10 and a half. All right, with my first dart in the books, we're going to slide into my next and final game for the show, LA Dodgers minus 230 at the LA Angels with the total moving slightly downward to seven and a half runs. Currently, the Angels are getting one and a half on the run line, and at the moment, 73% of the actions on the Dodgers to get it done. Tonight's probable is Kershaw for the Dodgers, Ramirez for the Angels. And speaking of the Angels, they've done one thing that nobody's been able to do in the last three weeks, and that's beat the Dodgers twice. The Angels are up two to one in this series, and they're also an impressive seven and three in their last 10. But if you think the Angels are a lock to win the series, Keep in mind that they're winning just 43% of their games as the underdog or even money. They're also just 7-7 seven seven as the official home underdog. They're going up against a Dodgers team who's 71% against teams around 500. they They're also still an absurd 11-2 in their last 13. With all that in mind, the case for both sides can certainly be made. But before I pick a winner in this one, let's go ahead and take a look at the total real quick. This one once again opened up at 8 and has since dropped half a run down to 7.5. Kershaw has been awesome this year, coming in with an ERA of just 247. The three prior games of this very ser uh, series are also averaging just four total runs per contest. Although the under seemingly a lock in this one, keep in mind that before this series with the Angels, Dodger games were 7-2 and two for the overs in their previous nine, so believe it or not, the case can be made for either side in this one. Moreover, it's sports gambling, and especially after this week, nothing is guaranteed. As for me, however, the time for talk on this matchup is over. It's time for me to throw my final darts for the show with a few more severely misguided sports picks in my two-bedroom apartment. All right, when it comes to a winner, I can't imagine that the hottest team in baseball coming into this series drops three out of four. The Dodgers are winning a solid 66% of their games versus teams allowing more than four runs a game. They're also a staggering 14-2 and two in games where Clayton Kershaw makes the start. It's for these very reasons I think the L.A. Dodgers will get back on track and split the series with a close 
outright win this evening. And when it comes to the total, I'm not going to try to outsmart the books. There's a clear-cut case to be made for the under, and I got no reason to pretend that I'm smarter than the betters in this spot here. When it comes to the total, I think this one stays under the 7.5. And, and when it comes to the run line, I'm going to make a little play on this one because even though I went 2-1 and one last night, I'm still a little gun-shy and I kind of want to hedge my bet. It's also very plausible that we have ourselves a tight game if this one stays under. The Dodgers also covered just 18 of 36 on the road when it comes to the run line. That said, I'm going to place some scared-ass money on the Angels plus 1.5 to get the job done for some run line cash. I'm thinking a final score of 4-3 to three Dodgers in this one. Well, folks, that is going to do it for me. But before I get out of here, I have to remind you that I am not a sports betting expert, nor do I implore you to take any of my picks. A wise man once said, good ain't free, and free ain't good. If for some reason you decide to use the free information on this program, you're utilizing it at your own discretion. Most importantly, if you're betting any of these games, do it safe, do it responsibly, and most important, have fun. For Brock Page Productions, I'm Brock Page, and have yourself a positive day.